They're still counting the votes. We don't know who's winning this one. Actually, it is the most closest fucking race, which to me says, what the fuck? It really does. And uh, checking on the states on what's been declared for each side. I'm going to say now, and most probably, if it works out well, I'm going to print off a copy of the map. And I am going to mark those as places that I will visit. Because places in which have been declared for he who must not be named... Uh, that's a big fat no. And also as well, a big fat fuck you. Because to the people who voted for him, at this time, in this hour, you really don't give a shit about what happens to our country. And seeing that, makes me think of the following you don't really care about the future of your country and that's the only thing I'm gonna bring up on that matter my brain is still waking up that's why the coffee so I'm waiting until 5.30 tonight because I'm in work 1 till 5.30 so while this is still going on I'm in work fuck <sighs> huh. No reason to faff about in the house. Just go straight to work and see how we do for the next four and a half hours. On the bright side though, uh found twenty bucks on the floor. So that's fun. <sighs> People are just throwing their money away like that, that's ridiculous. Ah well. Time to relax. Four and a half hours. This is gonna be a long four and a half hours, I believe. So another work day done. In the laundromat now, this is outside checking stuff. But it was funny that like an hour before the end of my shift, managers were asking, hey, could you stay for an extra hour? I was like, no. For the next few days, I am taking more care of my husband at this time and making him my priority more than anything else because these next few days are going to be painstakingly aggravating and especially with what I've seen in the results so far it is at a standstill and it is scaring us just need to count every single fucking vote So, night of basically chilling out. Sorry, my arm was up there stretching. But uh, honestly, guys, when I say this, it is like. I know what of a lie when I say this. Down to the wire for Biden. It is basically looking to see with the electoral that, from the results seen, that Nevada basically needs to flip blue for Biden to win this he just needs Nevada to basically turn blue and we got this in the bag but in the meantime I'm seeing a lot of messages out there of protesters going out from people who are supporting Trump who are trying to find ways for other places to stop counting the votes set out the votes in which people have put in to have their voices heard for this election. There are some people that say to stop the count. Then there are some people that are saying to keep the counts going. Keep on counting. Both 
Trump supporters. And it's like, really? That's just... You're confusing. You really are confusing people out there. Which is going to be? Well, this was something in which Krista told me earlier today, and that's basically the way that this is being played out right now by the Republicans is that they are trying to bully their way to keeping our hopes down, to make us fear. They are basically trying to win this by fear and showing oppression to those and trying to say, stop the votes right now, we are done. We should not be doing this anymore. I win, I've got these states, stop the votes, I'm still president for the next four years. That's not how that works, sir. There are people out there who still voice their opinions. Now, for me, I wasn't able to vote because I'm not a citizen. I am a legal immigrant of the United States. And as a permanent resident of the United States, I'm not entitled to vote. And I've checked. Otherwise, you know, I would have been slap bang there on the day of elections, marking it in to who I'm voting for. Because I'm voting not just for my sake, but the, for the sake and the safety of my family. The sake and safety of my friends and the people I love in this country. And even though I cannot vote, I can still express my opinion. I can still voice my opinion with these videos that I do. And I will say this right now, sir. Honestly, there is no way in hell that this is going to happen. Nevada turns blue. That is it. Biden's got it. It is six electoral votes needed. And that is where Nevada is. Basically, <laughs> the way we're looking at it, the only way this guy, this person, is going to be staying in office for another four years is to get every single vote every single state red that are still being counted right now he needs to get every single one of them on his side Biden only needs one and the last time I saw it it is being called to say it's his so I do apologize when I say this but sir you best start packing you really should start packing I'm not one for bringing politics into my videos like that, but honestly, after seeing that, it's something in which I know right now, this is where we are, right? We're down to the wire for Biden's side. We are there to get in this. But right now, the votes matter. The voices are still being heard. We're still counting on those votes. And some of them in which need to be seen to and qualmed before Friday because some of them are being turned away from the absentee ballot. Signatures not matching up. Other problems. So basically, this is the waiting game to find out what we're going to do. And at best, we're looking at the earliest of maybe Friday to see exactly where we are with these elections. But myself and my husband are not going to be Shrouded in fear, shrouded in doubt, and to be scared and bullied by people like him in office, or his lackeys. No. We have a voice. We have our voices heard. And we are doing our part for our country, to making it better, to making it greater. And I'm telling you this now, we could do this way better than that person in office right now. So, if people don't like my videos for expressing on how I really feel on these elections for this year, that's their, that's their voice, that's their opinion. But know that I'm expressing my voice. This is my voice, this is my opinion. 
and I am expressing this because I care for the people in this country, my friends, my family, my husband. I care for them. And I will see it be a cold day in hell to see everything in which has been built up and the day that I moved to the United States to now to see everything that has been built up to make sure that we are safe be taken away from us. The last four years we have seen changes. We have seen stuff happen in which have scared us, have put us in concern, have stripped away the layers of which we have built up. Not anymore. Nevada. That's all it is. And even after the elections are over, even if Biden wins, the fight's not over. It's not going to be once elected, everything's back to normal, just like that. No, because we have to clean up what was left in his trail in his path of destruction. We have a long way to go to clean it up and make this a decent place again. So it's not an overnight job. This will take some time after election to clean this up, to make it better again. But we'll have to find out when that time comes. Anyway, I'm going to call it night. I'm going to try and get some sleep. I'm not in tomorrow. In work. But I'm going to find something to do to try and calm my nerves. Because I'll be bored as hell tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching these videos. Thank you for watching during this time where we could be doing better. But for majority of states... They wish to still see the chaos reign. But those who are out there who are watching these videos, who are on the side of making this a better place to show and care for the people you love, support and to stand beside, thank you so much indeed. If you enjoy the videos, don't forget you can always hit that like button. But I will see you guys tomorrow for another brand spanking new day. Hopefully it'll be better than the rest. And hopefully, we'll find out what's going on then. We're in the long wait at this time. Tomorrow is a new day. Until then, take it easy, guys. God bless. I love you all. God bless the United States. Master.